Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part 16, I think it is, of my city construction project here. It's been a while since I did the previous part, so I probably have forgotten pretty much everything I intended to do. But that's the fun of these things. You can always come back later and start messing about with things and then do something different. Of course, it still takes a month of Sundays for anything to actually load. Here we go. Now. Okay, so where I left it, I have expenses are higher than income. But that's not a big issue, given that I have a massive surplus accumulated over the... 280 odd years of city operation here. Anyway, the idea I had, I think, was I was going to work on filling in this area here. I think I'm going to go for some residential and uh, I'm going to go for lower density stuff. Uh, certainly residential over here. Okay, so before I get too far, I'm going to take a look in here and see if there's anything in here that's worth stuffing in there somewhere. And it looks like not so much. Okay. Huh, it's still loading stuff. No wonder it's slow. Uh, okay. First of all, what have I got in here? Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, I think that is good for that section, and I'll just make sure it's watered. It looks like it thinks it is anyway. Okay, and as I said, I'm going to put lower density stuff in here, actually. I'll put commercial along the road here. And I'll put residential on the interior here. Okay, so that's that. Now, in here, okay, so I've got a street coming up this way, so I might as well just extend it out. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's okay. None of it works out quite nicely here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Ah, okay. I know how I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. And like so. Okay. I'll do that. And more residential in here and I'll put some commercial over in the sides here Oh dear, it's going to crash. Oh, good. It didn't. Okay. Make sure again that there's water. Yep. save that okay now let's get this going and see if anything grows in there apparently not Ah, there we go. It does make me wonder why those no car zots show up when there's clearly a road there. Yeah, it just looks dumb with that short bit of street there, so I'll extend that as well. Now, so far so good. Let's put it back to a sensible simulation speed again. Now, next up is in this area here. Now, I think in here I'll go with some medium level density at least initially up closer in here but first of all I need to identify where to build my roads huh can't do that okay let's see well there is a way I can do that but I'm not going to uh, okay two three four okay I'll put a road through here ah that kind of works okay now one two okay put a road up that way yep that works 
good. Yeah, what am I doing in here? Take a road across here. What do I have there? 12. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll do that. No, I can't do that. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Good. Now, again, to make sure there's water in there. Because the medium density stuff will not grow without water. Okay. Uh, what's this showing? Okay, so I'll go for middle density residential here. Okay, so down here, I'm going to put some commercial development in. Okay, so let's speed this up again and see what happens.
Okay, so I'm going to put some park space in this area here. Um, it should help the development in the immediate area. Uh, so what kind of park space am I going to put in here? I could put trees, but I think I'll go with... I think I'll go with the good old grass areas. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the income gap has closed a bit here. Give it a little more time and probably a fair bit more will close in. Anyway, I'm going to take a look in here. Okay, so there's nothing worrying in the news area. Realistically, this area, I think I'm going to extend the grid pattern from this section over. But first of all, apparently I've got some commute time issues. And solving that is going to be somewhat challenging, I think. This is where something like the road top mass transit uh, stuff can be quite uh, handy. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the uh, mass transit stops actually interrupt the uh, transportation network, they're really a transit enabled lot, which basically means the Sims can change transportation mode there. It also means that they can travel across the lot 
and it makes things a little more difficult and then it also makes crashes much more likely. Well, I'm going to work on extending the road network here. I think I'm going to need some commercial or something in the area. So I guess what I'll do is I'll put some commercial stuff along here. Sounds like a cat is rather annoyed with me. Yep, that's cats for you. Okay, so I've just barely balanced the budget here now. So what I'll do is I'll fill this bit here in, and then I think that'll be a part.
Okay, so that fills in the gappy stuff here from before. I still have this abandonment issue down here, but I think it's because I just don't have enough jobs. And theoretically, this commercial stuff will help with that, although there is a potential demand issue there. And I could gain some additional uh, jobs by adding some industrial, which I might do over closer to the highway here. Some more industrial, say, over here. Anyway, as you can see, the budget is now clearly balanced. put a plaza in there. Those do help with commercial demand and cap relief and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna stash a couple of actual parks over in this area. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to harm anything to have them there. You know, worst case, it's going to make the area more desirable. They don't cost a lot to maintain, so if you already have a, a budget surplus, a, a non-trivial one, there's no particular reason to avoid building some parks. Now, parks themselves won't help with abandonment due to commute times, that sort of thing. But they do improve the overall desirability of an area. Okay. Well... I'll try some more commercial stuff here. Uh, I guess I should make sure it has water since nothing but the lowest density stuff will grow without it. Okay. You could see here that uh, some of the abandoned uh, lots just respawn. That might be due to uh, other lots being abandoned, or it could be due to slightly improved transportation dynamics, or it could be due to the increase in jobs in the immediate area.
Anyway. I'm going to put the simulation back to a sensible speed here. Uh, you can see that uh, commercial demand is dropping off a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call this a part here. I've done pretty much what I wanted to do. I filled in this weird shaped space over here and the gap over here. So now the city is pretty much a continuous lump, uh, odd shape, but it's a continuous lump without weird um, cuts out of it. So I'm going to call it a part and I'll see you next time. Oh, I suppose I should save and exit here. Anyway, uh, that's it for this part. Uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.